Welcome my friends, Seven Gray here. Thank you for joining me today for this wonderful, amazing episode that I'm gonna have for you. I am in the most incredible place that I've ever done boondocking. I am in the most incredible place that I've ever done boondocking out near Lake Isabella in California. It's so incredible, just right outside my front door, step van back here. If you turn around, you can probably hear it. There's a river, a beautiful valley, all sorts of funky rocks. I am absolutely loving it. Let me show you. Here's the step van. Over here is my friend Joni's rig. And off on this side, wow, look at this beautiful river down here. This is what I listen to all night, all day. It's so amazing. I'm just loving it here. It is so good to be out in nature. I can understand the appealing of boondocking. Up until now, it wasn't really possible. I didn't really have the power, didn't have food, way of storing food, refrigeration, things like that. Having my solar set up has made all this possible. I am just enjoying it here. It is so amazing. A few months ago I met Joni, one of my very good friends here. We met at Jamie's Van Build Party and I saw for the first time the coolest gizmo called an Instant Pot. And I keep calling it a hot pot, which is not right, but it's an Instant Pot. Mm -hmm. And Joni uses it to cook almost everything. And you recently did some videos on... On making chili. Chili is one of the, my favorite things that I learned how to make uh, a couple of years ago in an apartment and I want to learn how to do it in person here in my step van and so I purchased a hot pot so today Joni is going to teach me how to make chili and I'll link her video below I think it's two parts isn't two it? Two videos yep and she goes through step by step and the ingredients all that kind of stuff so you can check out her videos for step by step on the details I'm not going to do that here but I did want to go through the instant pot and set up and what I'm learning and doing but really for the details see her videos okay. so a few basic questions why an instant pot what's what's so great about it so you can do just about everything in the instant pot mm -hmm. um, I've even baked uh, quick bread in my instant pot it's not technically like, baking like, like from dough you can yes bake? yes it's not technically baking it's technically steaming okay but still you can make a pretty good, which you've had, a pretty good banana bread uh -huh, uh -huh. in the Instant Pot. I want to do that too, but not today. <laughs> right. So you can cook rice. You, I actually use it for almost everything. So I heat my, I, I use it almost like a microwave where I reheat, reheat my leftovers in it. Mm -hmm. um, and then it cooks really fast. It doesn't draw a ton for... For electric cooking, it doesn't have a super high draw, mm -hmm. and it's on for such a short amount of time that it's mm -hmm. really solar friendly. And what experience have you had with power consumption? I think it's rated 700 watts. Is that right? Yeah, and it and I'm not the best at electric, but um, what I've noticed is it's drawing a tops 67 amps DC as okay. it's running, and it runs for about five minutes when it runs. Okay. So if you have the right electric setup, this could be a good solution for you in your van. You just have to see if 700 watts and the number of amps and the duration of what you're cooking, if all that works out for you. The great advantage of the Instant Pot is super fast, mm -hmm. super efficient, and it's one of those things that you can cook things and store it for a while, mm -hmm. like in a warming mode, is that yes. correct? And do a wide variety of things. Yeah. Yeah, so it replaces a rice cooker, it replaces a slow cooker, it replaces a, a pressure cooker, it replaces just a basic pan. Uh -huh. You can make yogurt in it. My mm. subscribers keep asking me, oh, hey, do you make yogurt? I don't eat yogurt, so I mm. haven't made yogurt. Okay. Um, but it does have a lot of things that you can make mm -hmm. in it. And you have the three quart, which is what I mm -hmm. bought, is the three quart. Yours is the duo, three quart duo. And mine is the three quart duo plus, which is just slightly newer. I think it has like one new feature on it and that's it. Yeah. All right, so we're gonna go at it. 
I've actually not unboxed this yet. So this is my first time to open up this box. I haven't done anything in advance. I don't know what's in here. In fact, it may be empty, but I don't think so. I got this a couple of weeks ago when I was in Fresno and I was just waiting to get together with Joni again to be able to um, open this up and learn how to use it. Looks like this is the power cord. And it looks like it comes with some basic plastic utensils, looks like a cup and a couple of spoons. Yep, looks like a measuring cup, a couple of spoons, and no idea what this is. Johnny? The drip catcher, technical term. <laughs> And here it is, still with the little tag on it. So it's a fairly compact size. Uh, it's, I think for most fan dwellers, it'd be okay. And inside, more plastic stuff. Looks like it has a little rack here. And then an insert stainless steel pot. And that's it. Apparently this little guy here goes on the side in a little slot. You've got to slide this in here and then you take it out occasionally to clean it out. So I didn't know that. Joni's over here giving me step-by-step -step instructions on this so that's why I have her around. So we're starting with one cup of beans. I have just a regular measuring cup here. All that's next is to put the lid on. Mm -hmm. Does it go this way or this way? It goes um, this this way. Oh, so this matches up with the back. Mm -hmm. okay. So then you want to have that pointing to the ceiling. So there's ceiling and venting. Okay. It's hard to see in this light, but ceiling and venting. Mm -hmm. You want it on seal. Mm -hmm. And then um, you want to do pressure cook for two minutes. All right, it's doing stuff. Nope, yep. you have a fancier display than mine. Oh, and I can hear the inverter uh, yep. fan going. Inverter's kicking in. It's four o'clock in the afternoon. Uh, Joni is back over at my rig and showing me the next phase of adding all the extra ingredients to get the chili made. So we have some chili powder, some carrots, some organic grass-fed ground beef, some cauliflower, I've never put that in chili before, and some yellow onions. And so I think that's it. We're gonna open this up. Actually, I'm gonna ask Joni to open the lid here, see okay. what happens. Here we go. All right, so inside looks like brown soup. It does. <laughs> Not so exciting. I'm getting instruction for the next phase here and apologize for like being sideways. See, she's standing up straight. I'm <laughs> having to lean over. Anyway, um, I turned the inverter back on and I've got a full charge on the battery for round two, the first step, cutting up the onions and sauteing. Um, all the ingredients we're gonna put in here, you can just check out her channel and see all the options. I don't have quite as many choices and didn't purchase as many things, but check out Joni's uh, videos on the exact recipes. So we're just going to put a little oil in here and then put all the mixtures and do the saute mode. Yep, so next is just to hit the saute button. Okay. When you do that, it looks like yours does a different thing for 30 minutes. Mine, All right. mine only does it for five minutes when I hit the saute button. All right. He bought the newer, fancier model of the Instant Pot, so I'm not quite as familiar with his um, settings and everything. 
It's cold outside, by the way. That's why I'm wearing the hat and warming my hands here. There it goes. Now you can add the rest of it. So you can hear it sizzling, and that tells you that it's hot enough to add everything. So what he's adding right now is a half of an onion. Um, just leave this, and you're going to add the ground beef here in a minute. Okay. Um, we're just going to let the onion saute for just a minute. So the carrots are already uh, shredded, and so if you want some cauliflower in it, mm -hmm. it's a little weird to put cauliflower in uh, chili, but we're trying to amp up the nutrition value, and when we are doing one-pot meals all the time, you end up with a little bit more unusual combinations. Apparently I forgot to get tomato sauce, so I'm going to use spaghetti sauce. Why not? Okay, so now I'm going to hit cancel. The ground beef isn't completely brown yet, but it's brown enough. And then we're going to um, cook the chili so it will cook the rest of the way with the chili. This is Italian style chili I'm making here. I'm using the spaghetti sauce, so it'll have an extra international type zing to it. All right. Chili powder is here. Mm -hmm. At least we think this is chili powder. <laughs> I have chili pepper written on this, so it might be chili pepper, not chili powder. We don't know. Salt. Get this pink salt. So it's got to taste really good because this is pink. That's that makes it taste better, right? I don't know. I don't know why it's pink. So, as you can see, this is an exact science here. You need to have precise measurements exactly to the ounce or the gram or the whatever the liquid measurements are. I don't know. I don't know how to cook. This is why I'm learning from her. <laughs> Chili pepper flakes. Magic ingredient for everything. So one of the tips for cooking in a van is to minimize cleanup. And so using the spatula, just wiping down the the inside edges of the pot will make it easier to clean up after. That's the kind of tips I need for cooking is making the cleanup easier. I hate that part. Here's the concoction. Crazy mass of stuff all mixed together and we're going to put the lid on it and I guess cook it some more. All right, so I guess we just have to wait for it to cook and then cool down. And this evening we can share some chili. Check back here in just a couple minutes. The cooking here on the Instant Pot did not go as planned. Um, Joni is saying this is behaving really oddly and not like a normal Instant Pot. What's happening is we're getting leaking steam around the front edge when we were doing the beans. And this time we're getting leaking steam around the back edge of the seal lid. And then we're getting an error message on the front that's saying burn and it kept shutting off. So it's not acting normally in fact during the whole five minutes it just said burn on it and so i think i'm going to have to call the manufacturer i don't know if we're going to have ruined chili we're going to open it up and <laughs> hopefully we have dinner tonight and i'll probably be calling instant pot tomorrow because it's after five here today it looks like the meat is done which is the most important part i think we're good i think we did it all right, so we're gonna have some dinner here. We had a fabulous dinner of chili and each of us had three uh, helpings of it. Just keep going back seconds, thirds. We just could not get enough. We finished everything in one night and just were gorged. It was so absolutely yummy. Thank you so much for watching. Savor the moment. See you next episode.